Hello guys, welcome to a pickups video, which is a rare thing on this channel these days. I've actually picked some stuff up, quite surprised myself. Um, but first of all, two really big thank yous uh, that I want to put out in this video. The first one is to Sprites and Bites, um, one of my favourite channels on here. Another guy who's not been making too many videos lately, but I can't complain about that because I've been guilty of the same thing recently myself. But um, I did a trade with uh, Sprites and Bites some time ago now. Um, I sent him uh, a Mega Drive game because I thought that I had another copy of that game. Um, it turns out that I didn't have another copy of that game and I really rather wanted it to complete a certain part of my Mega Drive collection and it's a part of the collection I've been banging on about for quite a while now and that is my RPG collection on Mega Drive and Mega CD. So the game that I sent Sprites and Bites, he has now sent back to me after I hassled him to allow me to do that, to trade again back with him and uh, he graciously allowed me to do that. So I've got it back now and it is Story of Thor. So Story of Thor, I think, is the last RPG that I needed to complete my set. And that means I'm gonna be, be able to make a video about that collection set uh, in the near future, hopefully. Um, I wanna do it properly, have some clips and footage and edit and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on it, try and make it look a little bit nice. Uh, but this is the last game that I needed to com to re-complete that set. Um, obviously there's some debate over what what type of game classifies as an RPG. You know, that's kind of a, uh, there's a certain level of subjectivity to the classification of a type of game, but I think I've got all the games that I would classify as RPG on those systems. Um, we would talk more about that uh, when I do the video. Um, so I'm really, really, really grateful to Sprites and Bites for allowing me to trade back this game because it's starting to go for stupid money. It's not rare. It's just because it is an RPG game. They tend to have a little bit more value. Um, and uh, this game is, is one of my favorites on the system. Such a fun game. Uh, it, I do have a manual for it somewhere, I think. But um, yeah, Story of Thought. Really happy to get that back. The second uh, thank you that I want to put out there, <coughs> excuse me, is to Adam Korolik gave me a bit of a shout out in a recent video, um, recommended me to his viewers and as a result of that I've got a fair amount of new subscribers so hello to you guys, uh, thanks for coming over to check me out. Um, yeah this is just a standard pickup video, I'll be doing more stuff on the channel hopefully in the near future. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the pickups. Now then, these are all uh, current gen now from here on in. Uh, the first one was from eBay and uh, I will show that one first. Now, I don't think there's any such thing as really as a rare game on, on current gen. At least I don't really know what they would be if there are any, but uh, this one is certainly uncommon. I don't tend to see it in uh, the game shops in my local area very often at all. I've been looking for it for some time now. And uh, it is Deadly Premonition. Now this is a game that I've uh, heard recommended by several YouTubers on here uh, and it's supposed to be a really cool game. I mean it says 10 out of 10 perfect on the box. I mean look, numbers don't lie people. Numbers do not lie. It says 10 out of 10. That means it's perfect as it says on the box. So you can't really, can't really go wrong with that. What it is, is it's kind of like a Silent Hill uh, old, old style Resident Evil type game. It feels a little dated in its control method and the graphics you know, it feels a little bit dated but it certainly has a good atmosphere to it and uh, it's highly recommended. Uh, I do like spooky themed games and uh, this one's supposed to be really fun so I'm happy to get that. It was for a decent price as well, that's about £8 in total uh, and bearing in, mind, uh, bearing in mind that I just don't see it around anywhere, I've been trying to find it for a long time I thought that was quite a good price for Deadly, Pre Deadly Premonition, £8 so um, yeah, I'm really happy to have that finally. Uh, now the next one that I found, I uh, found this again on eBay uh, and again it's one you don't see in the shops very often, at least in my local area and uh, it is a beautiful Katamari. Again got this for £8, again I think that's quite a good price for this game based on the fact I just never see it around and when I have seen it around it's usually over a tenner. Um, I, I was happy to pay around a tenner for it but to get it for £8, very happy with that. Obviously if you don't know anything about it, I just say it's a very unique game, you control this uh, ball that sticks things to it and you roll the ball around and progressively are able to stick bigger and bigger things to it and uh, it's just very, a very simple game in, 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 in the execution but very fun, uh, very unique and that's something that I'm always looking for in video games, it's some unique type of game. Uh, I do like the standards, you know, the first person 
Stewards and the races, I, I like those too. But I'm always looking for something a bit unique, and this is certainly comes into that category. Beautiful Katamari, I'm really happy to have this finally. Although, I'm kind of stuck uh, quite early on. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm probably going to have to do some research on it. But you get to this kind, you do like a training level, then you get to some kind of like hub. Uh, menu world thing and I can't get out of that I can't get to the main game properly someone tell me what I'm doing wrong the first kind of floating island kind of uh, hub um, kind of uh, area that you go to to you know where you can select options and different uh, configurations of the game I can't seem to get on to the main game from there I'm probably being absolutely retarded but um, anyway pretty happy to have that uh, for £8 good price and it's in really good nick complete and all the rest of it so happy to get that right Next, I went to Granger Games in Nottingham, in the Victoria Centre, and uh, now I've been waiting for the price of uh, current gen, or I guess now previous gen, I've been waiting for the price of uh, 360 and PS3 games to come down, and I imagine that would happen when the new consoles really take hold. Um, and I think it's started to happen already because I went in there into Granger Games and they've got a really good deal in there. Some really quite decent games on the uh, two for um, was it two for a tenner deal, and. Um, so, is that stopped? Music. It's craft work. Yeah. Good old, good old, old stuff. But uh, yeah, um, some really good games on the two for a tenner deal in Granger, Granger Games. And uh, so I had to do that. And um, well, I'll show you what I got first of all. We got on Xbox 360 Battlefield 3. Battlefield, never played a Battlefield game before, well, for, not for, for very long at all. Uh, this one's supposed to be a really gorgeous looking game. Uh, supposed to be obviously really well thought of, so happy to finally get that for effectively £5. I think that's pretty decent for Battlefield 3. And uh, it is complete with both discs, so that's cool. And the next game in this uh, two for a tenner deal that I got was Crisis 2. Uh, so I'd never played a Crisis game, and obviously I'd heard what everyone knows about it is it's a gorgeous looking game, and it really is. But it's actually really, really fun as well. I really like this game. This is really fun. Uh, it's got some cool abilities that you can use. Um, yeah, uh, it's 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 uh, it, it feels like you have a lot of options on how to play the game. Uh, lots of abilities. Really gorgeous graphics. Yes, we know that already. But uh, I'm enjoying this. This is really cool. And there's already a third one, obviously. So I'll definitely be getting that one after having played this one. Um, but happy to get Crisis Two. Uh, again for five pounds, uh, yeah, seven pounds two for a tenner. That's what I got it for. Uh, then I got a couple of uh, PS3 games, and uh, I'm basically just getting the exclusives on PS3. 360 is my console of choice for that generation, but uh, obviously there's some exclusives on there that you really don't want to miss out if you're a fan of gaming, gaming at all. And the two games that I got there were God of War 3. Um, ostensibly a hack and slash game, but as hack and slash goes, it's supposed to be right up there with the best of them. You know, I tend to find some of those a bit repetitive, but obviously this has got enough style and variety in it to keep you interested. Uh, obviously, gorgeous looking, a lot of fun, smooth gameplay. Um, so I've played a little bit of one of the earlier God of Wars. Really happy to finally have this and see what three look looks like uh, with the extra power of the PS3. Because uh, I've never, I've never, see, I've never even seen this running actually, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, again, complete and really good nick. Again, five pounds on the two for a tenner deal. And the other game that I got to go with that was Killzone 3. Um, again, seven, two for a tenner, five each. So Killzone 3, again, I played one of the early Killzones. I enjoyed that. I liked the uh, the theme of totalitarian, uh, oppressive governments and that kind of thing. I like any kind of theme to do with that. That's right up my alley. I like that, that, uh, that kind of storyline. Um, but this one's set on an alien planet. Um, so obviously they're trying to it, I think initially it was really a, a reaction to Halo. Someone can prove me wrong on the chronology of that, but I think it's basically a a, a, an answer to Halo. And to send it on an alien world, it's ideal for that kind of uh, thing. But it really looks gorgeous. Um, love first person shooters. I'm sure I'm going to love that, so that's really cool. Now, I was in there and um, this two for a tender deal. I, I found a, a fifth game, and that was Gears of War 3. So I got Gears of War 3 on the 2 for a tenner deal, although I couldn't find a sixth game to go with it, which would have made this £5, and the other one £5. So I didn't do that. I just got, I just went and got the uh, the five games, so one of them basically ended up being its full price of £7, and I didn't get that £2 discount. And I walked away thinking, I should have just got anything, anything half decent, to bring it down to that price, so you're effectively getting games for £5 each. Because I walked away thinking, ah, if I just got one more game, that other game would effectively have been three quid. You know what I mean? And that's a good price for for most uh, uh, 360 or PS3 games. 
So I didn't do that. I really kicked myself for not doing that because to take advantage of that sale. And uh, it's funny as collectors, I'm sure you all feel the same. A couple of quid here and there that you could have saved and didn't is more annoying than huge swathes of money that we waste on God knows what else. I mean, if I totted up the amount of money that I've wasted on sweets and chocolate and all that shit that I don't need, it would be quite disgusting amount really. Uh, and yet, not uh, saving two pound on, on a deal like that is more annoying than uh, the money that we've wasted elsewhere. And uh, that's, uh, that's a collector's bug, I guess, isn't it? But uh, yeah, but happy to have Gears of War 3. Um, yeah, I, I do enjoy these these games. I think, you know, really fun. And uh, gorgeous graphics, really, really cool looking. Uh, and again, another example of uh, why I don't think this current uh, 360 PS3 generation, I don't think it really had to end just yet. I think they could have squeezed another year out of it before they moved on to the new consoles. Uh, that's just my feeling, but uh, you know, uh, based on the fact that the, the games just keep getting better and better looking, and um, I think those consoles were far from dead. Um, but maybe they'll still be supported for some time yet, we shall see. But uh, happy to have Gears of War 3, and I think that was a pretty good deal there um, in Granger Games. And uh, yeah, to get, uh, get games like God of War 3, Killzone 3, Battlefield 3 for £5 each, I think that shows that the, uh, the prices are starting to come down already on that generation's games. Um, so that's all good, isn't it? So uh, yeah, that's my pickups, and uh, yeah, hopefully in the not too distant future I shall do my um, complete, although that might be debatable, we'll see when we get there, uh, RPG set on the Mega Drive and Mega CD. And uh, thanks again to Sprites and Bytes for allowing me to trade back my copy, my original copy of uh, Story of Thor, so that I can make that happen. Uh, so that's my pickups, not that many, but uh, Something to do, isn't it? Once to get on camera, say thank you to everybody for subscribing and viewing and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, see you next video. All right, bye bye.